Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone, for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever God. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Okay, yeah, brothers and sisters, so um, we're going to do this epistle right here outside. Um, you know, to the best of our abilities right now, the power's out. We don't know how long it's going to be out. You know, it was out this morning for for like three or four hours. And now it's out again this afternoon. It's been out for almost 45 minutes. So we're going to see if we can do a little short epistle here and, and upload it right off the phone. You know, because there's no computer, no uh, internet service or anything. So, you know, Lord willing to be edifying. Just a little quick short epistle. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Okay, so I want to bring out this first scripture here in the book of John, chapter four, verse thirty-four. Yahweh Shai said unto them, "My meat is to do the will of Him that sent me, and to finish His work." Right, man. So you know we understand that Yahweh Shimei Shai has declared the end from the beginning, and uh, we're coming. You know, we're following right behind in the footsteps of our big brother, Yahweh Shai, right? Just as the scripture in the book of uh, Romans, chapter 8, verse 29 declares, For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn of men, many brethren. Right? So, you know, we're being conformed to the image of Yahweh Shai, bro. Not not the image of the beast, not this world system, anything like that. Yahweh Bashim right now is taking us, you know, he's, we're, we're still in the world, but not, we're not a part of the world. But he's taking us and he's washing us with this word of truth. He's cleaning us, cleaning us up, man. You know, as that purifier, that silver, as that silver. And all praise to Yahweh Bashim for that. So we're being conformed to the image of his son. And we're walking as our, as our big brother walked while he was here. You know, um... While he was here, his whole, the whole meaning was to do the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, right? And now we, in turn, are coming back, and we're, we're just rock walking in the same path, bro. You know, making ourselves that living sacrifice. This is the book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I have spoken to you, while I was yet with you, that all these things must be fulfilled, which was written in the law of Moses and in the prophet and in the Psalms concerning me, right? So all these, all these, all these things will be fulfilled. All these uh, prophecies will come to pass, bro. You know, the prophecies of us, of us waking up in the last days, of us uh, uh, falling away, the falling away that's woken, 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 written about in the book of Second Thessalonians. You know, chapter two, verse three. Let no man see. Let's go get it while we while we here, since we're talking about it. You know, Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse three. Yeah, here we go right here. You know, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And all that's happening right now. See, because we fell away, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians fell away from our true heritage, right? And uh, in the book of Deuteronomy, it speaks about the curses that's going to befall us because we did not obey the laws, such commandments of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. And we were going to discontinue from our heritage, right? And, uh, in the latter days, Yahweh Shema Shah was going to wake us up in these last days. And that's what's going on right now. Let's go to the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 13. But go thy way, Daniel, till the, till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. And that's where we are right now. We're coming back, standing in our lot in the end of days. Let's get another backup scripture for that. Let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter 10. Verse 11. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many, prop before many people and nations and tongues and kings. That's right. Thou must prophesy again before many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. Right? Let's read that all the way from the top, bro. Let's go to the book of Revelation, chapter 10, verse 1. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with cloud. And a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as if as it were 
the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little salaki. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot on the earth. And he cried with a loud voice as when a lion roared. And when he cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And the seven thunders had uttered their voices. I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven and swear by him that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and, and the things that are therein and the earth and the things that therein are and the sea and the things which are therein that there should be time no longer. And in the days of the voice of the seventh angel when he, he should begin to sound the mystery of Yahweh Shemasha should be finished, as he had declared to his servants the prophets, right? And the voice which I heard from heaven spoke unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it, eat it up. And I shall make thy belly bitter, bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Okay? And I took the little book out of the angel's hands and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many people and nations and tongues and kings. And that's where we find ourselves at right now, brothers and sisters. You know, we out here, Yahweh Shemashah has raised us up in these last days. He's told us to eat this whole roll. The, 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 you know, the Valley of Shai, uh, Dry Bones, that's us, man. Coming up to, you know, being, uh, being reborn with this truth. Getting the understanding, getting the Holy Spirit put up in us. The breath of life being blown into us. And we're out here prophesying the fall of Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. And also warning the children of Israel to turn back, you know, to repent, to come back to Yahweh Shemashah before the gates of mercy closed up, right? And I found myself, you know, right, this, and uh, this epistle right now is called, My Meat is to Do the Will, right? To do the will of him that sent us, right? And instead, just like Yahweh Shai, right? And um, we found ourselves, you know, moonlighting because um, we're, you know, just doing the things that it takes to, you know, Pay the bills and all that stuff right here in Babylon the Great. Uh, and we're mo there was a show called Moonlight in a while back. And um, that show, Moonlighting is when you work two jobs. But of course, you know, like how Shah say, no man can serve two masters. So we find ourselves, uh, as we get closer and closer toward the end, uh, being drawn more and more to Yahweh Shah and less and less being a part of this wicked ass world. And that's what's happening now. We're, we're moonlighting, but the, tail, the, the, the scales are tipping more and we're getting more understanding, being built more up in the faith until, you know, getting, as we get closer and closer to this time of the end, brothers and sisters. Now, um, we're gonna get, get back into the epistle. I just wanted to bring that out because I had a, another fervent conversation today about such things and I found myself, as the stripper proclaims, you know, um, let's go get it. What manner of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Okay, hold on. Yeah, here it is. In the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 11, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness, bro? And that's where we find ourselves at right now. Because we are doing the will of Yahweh Shemashah, man. We are coming back. And it, it, this is it. This is all we have. This is the our, the, our whole being is to do the will of Yahweh Shemashah this time. To warn the children. Wake, wake up in the morning. Okay. How can I serve Yahweh Shemashah? What, what can we bring out today? Go to sleep at night. Did I get, do a good job for Yahweh Shemashah? Uh, 
you know, what, what we're going to do in the morning. You know, the whole day is like that, throughout the day. Being comforted with the words by the, by the words of Yahweh Hashem HaShah from the other brothers and the big brothers and the elders of Great Millstone with their 100% truth. You know, um, examining ourselves daily, walking in the spirit to the best of our abilities, brothers and sisters. And that's, what it, that's, what, that's what's going on here. And that's what um, we're seeking in Yahweh Hashem HaShah's face. And that's, that's what the Lord has required of us, you know. Let's go get it. Let's go get that real quick. Let's go get that real quick. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord, Yahweh Shem HaShah, thy God, require of thee? Hmm? What does the Lord, thy God, require of thee? But to fear the Lord, Yahweh Shem HaShah, thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve him. The Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thine soul, bro. So all these things are being fulfilled. We are coming back. We have the remnant have returned. The hopeful 144 elect and one third of Israel have returned to Yahweh Shemasha, and we're walking in that in that stead, man. Putting on as the elect to the best of our abilities with the spirit that Yahweh Shemasha has given us, man. Our, our meat is to do the will of Yahweh Shemasha. This is the book of John, chapter four, verse 23. One one more prophecy being fulfilled. All these things must be fulfilled. This is the book of John, chapter 4, verse 23. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship Yahweh Hashem, Hashem, the Father, in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. Right? And that's what we're doing, man. We're calling out to the children of Israel, the, hundred, the uh, 144, hopefully elect, and one-third of Israel, telling y'all, hey, come rest with us. This is the way. Walk ye in it. Turn away from this wicked world. Come and seek the Lord's face. Get to know Yahweh Hashem, Hashem, Hashem. Get to know the Lord. Get to understand all his ways. Get washed with this word of truth. You know, this is the book of Isaiah. One of the one of those one of those scriptures, bro. Isaiah chapter ten, verse twenty. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord Yahweh Shemashah, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Right. And this is that that's this is uh, the prophecy that's being fulfilled that's about to be fulfilled because hey when the, when the bottom drop out of Babylon the Great A.K.A. America and they make all these mandates and everything and this in this you know hopefully Lord willing it's gonna be this month that they just they just drop the hammer on these mandates man just go ham with these ham with these mandates like you can't do shit nigga unless you get this damn shit. Unless you get this medicine, you ain't going to be doing nothing. No, that's when we're hoping that this scripture right here will be fulfilled. That's why we're warning the children of Israel now. Come on. Come back, man. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob. Right. We, we already got the mindset, you know, to, uh, to cleave unto Yahweh Hashem HaShai, to trust in Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to take care of us in these times of trouble. You know, as he did our forefathers when they came out of Egypt. And such are escaped of the house of Jacob, shall no more again stay upon him, them that smoked them, but shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh Hashem HaShah, the Holy One of Israel in truth. Right, but to get to, to even get to that point, you got to first come back and understand who your enemies really are, bro. You got to have this, you got to be wholeheartedly well-rooted in this. And Yahweh Hashem HaShah said, never trust our enemies. And we see it. We see that we got other camps and other groups out here that's saying, oh, yeah, you can trust them a little bit. No, the scripture said, never trust our enemies. But that's why it says, only a remnant shall return, bro. Okay, let's continue on in the epistle. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 3. And said, verily, verily, verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay? You should, if, you, if you don't convert, and the big brother elder made a beautiful epistle about being converted just last week, bro. Being converted wholeheartedly. And I brought that up in my little conversation this morning. I was like, you know, um, this thing has happened to me. It has happened to us, brothers and sisters, that we have been converted by the renewing of our mind. We are different people altogether, bro. Our whole being, our whole mindset, our whole spirit is to do the will of Yahweh Hashem HaShah. As the scripture even proclaims, Hey, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We might stumble and fall, but that scripture proclaims, hey, the, the just man fall down seven times, but he get his ass back up. You know? Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 26. And it shall come to pass 
that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. There ye shall be called the children of the living God. Right, in this place where we've been called niggas and all that stuff. Niggas, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You're not the people of the Lord. But you know what? You, you, you can, you can, you know, if you trust in this false god and false idol, you might be able to be able to get it. You know, if you come and bow down and worship this false god and false idol, you might be okay. But see, they, what they don't understand is that we are the children of Yahweh Bashim Hashai, and they are not. And when I say they, I mean Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, and all the other, these, these other damn heathen nations, right? Because this word is going out to the children of Israel, 144, hopefully elect, and one-third of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. And of course, we understand that the children of Israel are also scattered among all nations, so they may look like other nations. So it goes through the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, if you can receive that, okay? Let's continue on. Book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 9. Wait, hold on. Okay. Let's go to the let's let's jump up to um, Matthew chapter seven verse seven. <clears throat> ask, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Okay, that's right, man. If you if you hear this word, you so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. If you if you beg Yahweh Hashem Hashem for this truth and understanding, what does it just say? If it's your lot, you know, if you're called and chosen, if you're predestined to be a part of this, for everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Right. Because, um, you know, of course, those that are not called, they, they're not, they're going to be blinded to this truth. They're not even going to understand to even beg and plead and fear Yahweh Bashim Hashah, you know? For everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you whom if his son asks bread will give him a stone? Right. Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him okay right and that's what we're doing we're coming back we're coming back in all humbleness you know and uh, we're doing the will of Yahweh Shema Shai and we're proclaiming his words out to the children of Israel to the to the Gentiles, to the, being that light to the Gentiles, the, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians who don't know that they're the children of Israel, who think they're Americans, who think they're Negroes and Hispanics and Native American Indians. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 19. And we know that we are of Yahweh, Shem and the whole world lieth in wickedness, bro. And there you go right there. That's, the, that's a big mind blower right there. See, because as the scripture proclaims, my people have a zeal for the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Right? Yeah, they, they claim that they love you, how about Shema Shai, but the fear of the Lord has been taught by the precept of men. But now this 100% truth is out, telling y'all who the Lord really is. Telling him that the, he is to be greatly feared, bro. Telling you what the program is, that he has chosen us to be his people and us only. Right? Let's go get that real quick. Just since we're on the topic. And, you know, I, I bring this out every day. I don't care, man. I will bring this truth out right here every day. And a, as we do, right? That's our meat to do the will of him that sent us. This is the book of uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Right? What's that telling you right there? And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God, Yahweh Bashim Hashai, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And that's why it makes this truth so so powerful, bro. Because there's no there's no lie in the truth. There's no getting around this this word of truth. And now Yahweh Bashim Hashai has woken us up to the truth. Hey, he's he sent us out there to do his will until he comes back to redeem us out of this hell hole. This is the book of John chapter 6, verse 44. It says no man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him, 
and I will raise him up at the last day. Okay? Well, now, what you talking about there? No man can come because all this is preordained. It's all preordained. And what you have about Shah say? My meat is to do the will of him that sent me. And we're, we're, we're raised up as, as, you know, being conformed to the image of Yahweh Hashem Hashem And we are walking right behind him, trying to pattern ourselves after him. What, he, what did he do when he was on earth? He went around preaching the gospel. He said, go and preach, telling, saying that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, bro. And that's what we're telling right now. You know, let's go to the book of John chapter 21, verse 17. John chapter 21. Hold on. Let's 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 start up a little bit. Let's just start at 16. No, hold on. Let's start at verse 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. And he said to him again the second time, Simon, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. And he said unto him a third time, Simon, Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. And how shall I say unto him, Feed my sheep. Right, and that's what we're doing, bro. To the best of our abilities, with the spirit that Yahweh Hashem Hashem has given us. Coming out here, proclaiming this word of truth. Okay? Once again, the book of John chapter 7, verse 39. Salaki 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Right, as the scripture has said, not in the traditions of men, the scripture speaks against the traditions of men. Okay? And the and the, the wisdom of this world. It's talking about, hey, this is the whole this, we we get this through the Holy Spirit. Yahweh Shem Shah has woken us up in the last days, bro, to proclaim this word of truth, to condemn this wicked ass world, to warn the children of Israel and prepare our hearts and minds for the return of Yahweh Shem Shah. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter twenty six, verse one. We're gonna read this this is account right here. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Thou art permitted to speak for thyself. Then Paul stretched forth his the hand and answered for him. I think happy, I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I shall answer for thyself this day before thee, touching all the things whereof I am accused of the Jews. Especially because Salaki, especially because I know thee to be expert in all customs and questions which are among the Jews. Wherefore, I beseech thee to hear me patiently. Right. So King Agrippa, as most kings, uh, you know, if you conquer people, you want to know all about them people. You don't want to know their customs and mannerisms and all that stuff. Right. The manner of, of life from my youth, which was at the first among mine own nation at Jerusalem, now all the, know all the Jews. which knew me from the beginning, if they would testify that after the most straightest sect of our religion, I lived a Pharisee. Right, so they all knew who, this, who Paul was, right? And he said that he was, he was, he was of the straightest sect. They didn't, they didn't take no bullshit. They didn't toler tolerate nothing. You know, it's just strict down the core. And now I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made of Yahweh unto our fathers right so because all the things are written were written a four time for our learning right and all these things were written as, as the Messiah said all these things were written were written of me so all the prophecies you know before time in the days of old was written of Yahweh Shai coming back and uh, being that lamb for the children of Israel and that's what that's what he's talking about right here and now I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made of of Yahweh Hashem Hashem unto our fathers. Unto which, hold on, unto which promise our twelve tribes 
instantly serving Yahweh Hashem day and night, hope to come, for which hope's sake, King Agrippa, I am accused of the Jews. Right, so look, look, once again, this 100% truth always springing forth. Until which promise are 12 tribes? Right, not the whole world. That's the, that's, that was the promise made to, our, to the forefathers, to our forefathers, not the whole world. Until which promise are 12 tribes instantly serving Yahweh Shemashi day and night, hope to come, for which hope's sake, King Agrippa, I am accused of the Jews. And that reminds me of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. You know, let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Man's all is to serve Yahweh Shemashi. Verse 8. Why should it be thought a thing incredible with you that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai should raise the dead? I verily, I verily thought with myself that I ought to do many things contrary to the name of Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, which thing I also did in Jerusalem, and many of the saints did I shut up in prison, having received authority from the chief priests, and when they were put to death, I gave my voice against them, right? Now you, you see what they was doing back there because they were coming against the word of truth. They were leaning on their own understanding. You know, they didn't, they didn't believe in the prophecies, right? And uh, that, that reminds me of um, the book of John. Let's go get this in the book of John real quick and we'll come right back. John chapter 16 These things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. They shall put, they shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doth, doeth God's service, does the service of Yahweh Shem Hashem. You know, and that's what you know. That's what a lot of people think. They they don't they don't believe. They don't understand. They don't understand, bro. Let's go back to. I didn't remember where we where I had to find out where we where we left off at. So back to the book of Acts chapter 26. Okay, here we go. Verse 10. So this is Acts chapter 26 verse 10. Which thing I also did in Jerusalem and many of the saints did I shut up in prison having received authority from the chief priests and when they were put to death I gave my voice again uh, gave my voice against them. I punished them often in every synagogue and compelled them to blaspheme. And being exceedingly mad against them, I persecuted them even into strange cities. Whereupon, as I went to Damas Dam Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priest at midday, O king. Okay, here we go. We're getting down to nitty gritty. And mid at midday, O king, I saw it. I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining around about me and them that journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in a Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. <clears throat> and I said, who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both of all of both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. Delivery delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom I, now I send thee to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto Yahweh Shem that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inherit among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Okay? Verse 26, verse 18 again, bro. To open their eyes and to, to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto Yahweh Shemashah, 
that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Okay? And we're going to jump over to, uh, we're going to remember that now, that's verse 18. We're going to jump over to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Well, let's start at 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of Yahweh Shemashi, should shine unto them. Right? And that's what we're doing, man. man. Unless, you know, that's what we were talking about, because uh, this gospel is only for the 144 hopefully elect and one-third of Israel from the foundation, you know, predestined from the foundation of the earth. One more time, brothers and sisters. Verse 17. Delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee. He sent you to go get those sheep. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto Yahweh Shemasha, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. So like it, brothers and sisters. I smell something burning. Let me go make sure it's not coming from in here. Yeah, so lucky about that. Um, let's jump over to verse twenty, verse nineteen. So this is Acts chapter twenty-six, verse nineteen. Whereupon, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient until the heavy, until the heavenly vision, right? Because hey, our meat is to do the will of Him that sent us. But showed first unto them of Damascus and of Jerusalem. And throughout all the coast of Judea, and then to the Gentiles, that they should repent and turn to Yahweh Shemasha and do works meet for repentance. For these causes the Jews caught me in the temple and went about to kill me. Okay? Having therefore obtained help of Yahweh Shemasha, I continue unto this day, witnessing both to small and great, saying none other things than those which the prophets. And Moses did say should come. Okay, you see that's some heavy stuff right there. Right? Because see how about Shah said, all these things must be fulfilled as written of me. Right? Having therefore obtained help from Yahweh by Shemashah, help from Yahweh by Shemashah, I continued until this day, witnessing both to small and great, saying none other things, no guile in his mouth, than those which the prophets and Moses did say should come, right? That Yahweh should suffer, and that he should be the first that should rise from the dead, and should show light unto the people and to the Gentiles, right? The, the children of Israel, they didn't know they were children of Israel, who had felt fallen away. And as he thus spoke for himself, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, thou art beside thyself. Much learning does make thee mad. But he said, I'm not mad, most noble Festus. But speak forth the words of truth and soberness. For the king knoweth of these things, before whom also I speak freely. For I am persuaded that none of these things are hidden from him. For this thing was not done in a corner. Right. <laughs> prophesy, for the, prophesy to the wind. Prophesy for the whole world, man. King Agrippa, believest thou the prophets? I know that thou believest. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuaded me to be a Christian. And Paul said, I would, I would to Yahweh by Shemashah that not only thou, but also all that hear me this day, were both almost and altogether such as I expect these bonds. Except, you know, he's saying, um, and Paul said, I would to Yahweh by Shemashah that not only thou, 
but also all that hear me this day, where both almost and altogether such as I am, accept these bonds. Right. He's saying, you know, I wish everybody could to get a piece of this gospel. You know, he's being uh, subtle because he understands that he knows that this word is only for the children of Israel. But hey, you're in, the, you're in you know, the hands of your enemy. Agree with your adversary quickly, you know. The, the angels are going to separate the wheat from the tares, bro. And he said, I wish everybody could be, you know, get a piece of this glorious gospel, but not, a, not, not these chains. I don't want them to be locked up like I am. You know, hey, let me help get, let me out of this, man. And when he had thus spoken, the king rose up and the governor and Bernice and they that sat with him. Okay, we're about to close it out now, bro. And when they were gone aside, they talked between themselves, saying, This man doeth, doeth nothing worthy, worthy of death or of bonds. Right, he shouldn't even be, he shouldn't be chained up. He ain't did nothing really that, that bad. Right, because you want to be found spotless and without blame, bro. That's what we're talking about right now. All praises to you, how about my shot? Then said Agrippa unto Festus, This man might have been set at liberty if he had not appealed unto Caesar. You know? We're going to leave it right there. Uh, because this, this right here, man, you know, we, uh, what manner of person are you to be? So our whole being right now is, do, is to do the will of you, how about Shema Shah, to be conformed to the image of his son, to be washed with the word constantly, you know, to, uh, to um, you know, uh, constantly, you know, examine ourselves and repent to the one true living God so we'll be found without spot and blameless in these last days to build up our faith. To know that hey everything's gonna be all right when you have our Shema Shah return because we are putting on as the elect man to the best of our abilities. Now let's go get this last scripture. We're gonna close it out. Um, yeah, so our meat is to do the will. There's no there's no other way to live right now for us. This is it. And when you have our Shema Shah come back, we're gonna have the laws put on our inward parts. It's gonna be beautiful, bro. It's gonna be just the con it's the conclusion of the whole matter, right? Fear Yahweh by Shema Shah and keep his commandments. This is the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of Yahweh by Shema Shah, which have not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. So that's why we're getting out here proclaiming these words to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians telling y'all, hey man, this is the way, walk you in it. Start watching videos of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, trust in this word, believe in this word, seek the Lord's face while the gates of mercy are open because it's about to be all out holy hell out here. And the children of Israel, has been declared that two-thirds of the children of Israel will be cut off in this time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, so with that, hopefully this is edifying brothers and sisters. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word. Follow the Lamb wherever go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom.